everyone welcome back to the channel as you can tell from the title we are going to do some last minute thanksgiving um utensil oops sorry about that utensil holders with these cans now i have cleaned them and i tried to get as much of the um paper and glue off of them as possible so they're all different sizes i know but we have some ribbons here we have some a burlap, some little decorations, um, some twine, ribbon, hot glue, paint, and let's see. Yeah, so that's what we're going to be using today. So before we get into the video, if you are not subscribed to this channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Also, make sure you give me a big old thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you're sharing the videos out. Also, if you would like to follow me on social media, all of that is linked in the description. You just have to scroll down to find it. And let's get into it. Okay, so for these two, I wanted to paint and I have some acrylic paint here. So I'm just going to get started with the brush and paint. It's kind of it's thick. I may use the other brush for it, but we'll see. Okay guys, so while we are waiting on these two here to dry, because I'm going to put a second coat on them, I have a piece of ribbon. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. Um, I believe I bought this one from Joanne Fabrics at the end of the year when they were having like the sale and everything, but it comes on a roll like this and it is wired. So for this one, we will be utilizing the can this twine and probably a few of these little snowflakes that I got from Walmart and don't mind the paint on my hand so what I'm going to do is because this still has some of the glue on it I am just going to go ahead and start here and I'm going to cover the ridges here with the ribbon so I'm just going to put a generous amount and be careful because the can does get hot. <laughs> so just stick that up. Stick that down, kind of adjust it. So I'm just gonna tightly, please be careful um, if you have a, um, a sander or some kind of way to shave down to smooth this out so you don't cut yourself. Uh, please be sure to do that. If any kids are watching, please be sure to get your parents to help. Or if you're going to hold this, um, don't be like me. Don't just freehand it. Put a towel or something here so you don't cut yourself. So now that I have it here in the middle, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue around the middle too, just right in there. Just a little bit just to keep it down and I'm going to tightly pull it and all the way back around so I'm going to put some glue all up in there as well here. See, simple, easy, quick. And you can use any kind of ribbon that you want. This is a two and a half inch ribbon. That's what I use. So now what I'm going to do is start here at the top. And I'm going to start at the seam here just like I did 
with the other and I'm going to wrap this all the way around the top until I get it how I like it. Okay, so what I've done here, I've added the um, ribbon to the top rough edges. So now I can put my finger around here and it doesn't hurt. It's not scraping me because I put the, um, the ribbon or rope around the top and I put it as much as I could around the bottom. So now, because when I have mine set for the holidays, I'm going to have the same cover, but you can go ahead and put something decorative there. You could put like your decoration on the front of there if you if you want just to cover that seam from the ribbon. Um, but I'm going to put this pretty little bow on the front of my can. And I just used a ribbon and created a, a simple bow if you need to um, have me do a tutorial on that I can but I believe I have this specific type of bow tutorial on my channel already so there we have that I love the snowflakes and I don't want to take away from that so this one is just going to have this cute little bow here so I'm gonna put my second coat on here and then get these decorated but after I put my second coat on I am going to decorate another can so this is our first one let's go on to the second one So now that we have decorated our first two cans here, this is what we did to the first ones. I think they are really cute and it's a great way to recycle items. So these ones are going to be really simple. I'm just going to put some really basic decorations on these and um, probably some ribbon and stuff like that. So let's get started with those.
guys so i hope you like this really quick simple recycle ideas for the holidays i'm going to be using mine for my table settings to put like utensils and stuff in instead of using the plastic cups like i normally do when family comes over and i made these my, myself you can make them with your kids um, you could make them out of boxes or anything. I like to recycle things in my home. You guys know that you've watched my DIYs for a long time. And if you haven't, you know now. But if you like this video, guys, please give me a big old thumbs up. Also, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Make sure you have your bell notifications turned on so you get notified every time I upload a video. If you would like to follow me on social media, all of that is linked down below in the description. As well as the links to my websites, my shop, and my vlog channel. And until next time guys, bye!